what are the challenges that you faced initially you know while preparing uh, for data science in short uh, people will say it is very easy to what is it get into uh, coding uh, un until and unless you put 100% effort like you should have the proper guidance from somebody i got it from my neuron that i proudly say that i would have given more than 50 interviews so initially yeah as soon as i completed the statistics playlist right within 5 months i got two offers hello guys we have with us uh, dinesh kumar uh, who has uh, recently made a career transition to data science and he's coming from electron electrical background um, Dinesh was a part of FSDS November batch, so we'll try to understand about his transition story and what all things he did. So welcome Dinesh. So first of all, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm really grateful to be here, uh, to be honest, uh, because um, I'm only here because I want to share my story, like uh, uh, how much I have struggled and I just wanted to share my uh, experience so that uh, people who want to get into IT, right? So it. I hope it will help to them. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Dinesh, let's talk about your education background and what made you specifically get interested in data science. Um, I'm a 2012 uh, engineering background. Uh, since I'm from uh, electrical and electronics, so I got a, I just got a job in uh, some business development roles. My day to day job will be like uh, I need. I should go to meet the client. So that was um, later. I realized I have uh, five years experience. So later I realized that I'm doing nothing. Uh, so I just wanted to do something. So when I was looking into uh, change my career, right? I realized that uh, data science is booming. So uh, data science is getting popular. So I found um, I just uh, somehow managed my parents and I convinced them and uh, get into I started learning uh, data science. So I quit my job that time itself. Oh, you quit your job and then you started preparing ah, yes. for it. Yeah. So yeah, for the guys, I, don't do this. <laughs> Not yeah. a good way of doing it. Yeah. Parallel, you can prepare. Yes. So uh, it was really curious for me at that time. So that is why I quit my job. Then I uh, took some uh, PGP program and reputed institute. Mm -hmm. That was one year program. So after completion of one year, right, I realized that I I didn't learn anything. So uh, then I started learning through YouTube. Then I found this Krish uh, UR YouTube channel is. A I found a lot of contents over there. Almost I ha started. I completed all the playlist of uh, this uh, data science uh, playlist. Uh, then I started giving the interviews as well. So. Even I could uh, complete 50% of the interviews, but I was uh, lacking somewhere. So I need somebody to help me and uh, guide me in the proper way. So that is how I found the iNeuron and I joined this uh, FSDF 2020 batch. Okay, amazing. Uh, so uh, tell me one thing, like you're already coming from electro electrical and electronics uh, branch, right? Uh, and I think like how was your coding experience that time like four to five years you had worked? I'm uh, completely new uh, this, this new coding. coding, yes. Okay. So what are the challenges that you faced initially, you know, while preparing uh, for data science in short? Because you definitely did not have that much experience with respect to coding. Yes. So how did you overcome that and what are the challenges that you faced? Yeah. Um, when I was going through your YouTube channel, right, I learned the Python playlist, but not that much actually. I didn't have that confident. So whenever I give the interview, right, I could uh, what is it? Give the all the, give all the answers for this uh, statistics and uh, this machine learning concepts. I could clear all those. When it comes to this uh, Python, right, I was lacking completely lacking I, um, for an incident uh, one of the interview uh, they were there is a one variable like a year right mm -hmm. from that year I need to um, what is the split this let's say 1978 from that 1978 I need to count and put it in one I, I need to create a one variable so these are all the uh, experience I had during the interview so when I joined this FSDFs right so uh, from right from the beginning itself uh, they are taking you are taking this uh, uh, python so it helped me to overcome that and uh, that really helped me to crack the interview mm, great 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 so uh, like uh, how was your experience with iNeuron overall with respect to learning and the mentors of iNeuron yeah it was really great uh, it is not just for the word i what is it uh, my broad, bottom of my heart i'm telling that uh, it was really great I didn't. If I didn't join Iron, I would have not got job in uh, data science. I would say. Okay. okay. And what about the mentors? How was the mentor support? Yes. 
all the smoke mock interviews and all uh, since i just gone through all of your videos right i could easily connect with whatever you have taken like uh, in the statistic play um, sessions also i can easily uh, capture and uh, especially sudanshu right so if i talk about the sudanshu classes so, so when i was uh, uh, going through the um, python sessions so always sudanshu used to give the task uh, during the sessions itself um, i'm bet anyone that if you can solve those tasks they can crack any data science interviews so that really helped me to uh, be in touch actually okay great amazing amazing so uh, let's talk about your since you cracked two interviews as you had said right uh, so how was your interview experience like what all questions they specifically asked how many rounds were there uh, just in a high overview okay so with wipro actually i had uh, somewhere around five rounds of interview and uh, even uh, as well as this uh, infosys i got four rounds of interview so the first round will be basic uh, understanding of uh, this machine learning concepts and basic python questions will be happen the second round will be commonly like um, uh, your uh, project explanation and uh, there may be a couple of questions uh, so how you have handled such scenarios so these things will be a second round and the third round will be also like um, the next uh, advanced kind of questions will be and fourth round will be also a lot like they would have give, uh, they have given one task me to complete that task uh, but when i completed then they uh, gone to the next round of interview with hr then i got an offer from them okay so uh, any any specific very difficult questions that were asked to you that you still remember um there are a lot actually that is where i at least two remember. two you can say any one you can pick up two and probably a uh, yeah most of the time um, this project explanation i had uh, i faced a lot of difficulties because until and unless you didn't uh, do any project right life project it is not easy to uh, crack so uh, from that uh, what to say project i uh, had a lot of questions so that is where i mm, felt great great so uh explaining the project is much more yeah, important much in the more interview important. if you do that well then probably, yeah, probably the chances are high yes okay okay now let's go to this question okay uh, like you hear from people right a non technical person or from people from other background cannot make a switch towards data science i think for you also if you have asked someone they would had told about this so what do you feel according to you can any person from any domain or background move into data science yeah. so according to my experience right uh, like uh, people will say it is very easy to what is it get into uh, coding uh, un until and unless you put 100% effort like you should have the proper guidance from somebody i got it from my neuron that i proudly say that <laughs> great 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 so uh, any any final motivation thing that you want to t t tell to people who are not able to clear the interviews probably they have given a lot of interviews still they are struggling to do that anything uh, see uh, the first point uh, whenever i'm uh, losing my confidence right um, so uh, especially you like krish uh, i used to go to your videos you not only teach sometimes you used to give the motivations uh, to i uh, what is this i got uh, what is it? i cracked uh, three rounds of interview with one company and finally they came up and told me that uh, you didn't uh, gone through so i felt like uh, give up okay then again when i uh, what is it watch your videos then i got motivated and i kept learning and finally i end up uh, what is it get into so you should not lose your motivation if you keep learning definitely anyone can uh, achieve like anyone can crack the it job yes perfect so now let's play some rapid quick fire round you know so here i'll just ask a question without thinking you have to probably tell the answer sure. okay so uh, who's your role model uh role model um so what's thing <laughs> <laughs> anyone no, no sir i would say you because uh, i kept watching your channel right from the beginning back in 2018 itself you used to teach from uh, small screen mm -hmm. so the kind of effort you put and uh, bring the courses to the people and uh, that is how you also achieved so yeah. i need to what is a keep working and do the hard work so that I would so what do you think is the secret of success 
uh, hard work and smart work both the hard things you should uh, okay, put perfect. together uh, what is the word that comes in your mind when you hear about tiny run yeah it is my life <laughs> <laughs> great great so so nice of you yes. to probably say about this company like this right uh, okay what what do you what what is the word that comes to in your mind when you hear about chat gpt um have you started using chat gpt yeah yeah i started <laughs> using chat gpt is it helpful a um, lot <laughs> somewhat <laughs> i didn't uh, started using much but uh, sometimes it helps it helps actually i'm curious how it is going to mm. what is it um, uh, manage this world <laughs> okay great great so yes uh, this was it uh, thank you uh, for for this podcast itself it was amazing i think the information that you have provided to the entire audience is quite amazing the transition story is motivating one last question how did you probably go ahead and prepare your resume and where did you apply the job um yeah actually i got uh, some uh, what is a uh, assistant from my neuron team itself so th- i just uh, uh, shared my resume with them so they have given some uh, what is a uh, points and i just made a uh, changes and i have started applying through nakuri itself so i started getting calls from nakuri itself i would have given more than 50 interviews so initially yeah so as out of that two you got selected no um before i joined the i knew run i got uh, what is i would have given more than 50 interviews okay i uh, then only i realized that uh, somebody need me to uh, guide so then uh, as soon as i completed the statistics playlist right within 5 months i got two offers wow amazing 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 great <laughs> so yes guys this was it from our side i hope you like this particular video uh we'll put his linkedin id in the description of this particular video guys so if anybody probably contact you with respect to understanding how to prepare please do yeah, definitely sure, guide them dinesh yeah so yes guys this was it from our side i will see you all in the next podcast thank you dinesh yeah, thank, thank you. you everyone